Tell them about our new supercharger. Tell them about our new I supercharger ain't for this. Talking about it. Guys, I know you want a video talking about this thing, but we're gonna make you wait one more day. We got more important things to talk about. What kind of supercharger do you think this is? Another Whipple R980? A PSI C rotor? Boom! No. Kenny Bell. What the hell are we putting a Kenny Bell on? Yo, yeah, mom. What are we putting a Kenny Bell on, Coat? Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm Cobra right now. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Right. Come, come, look, come look at my piece of shit out here. Come look at my piece of shit. We got a lot to talk about today. We got to update you. This is my daily. Right, you guys saw us taking on power torques. 97 Cobra. Um, came naturally aspirated. This thing's bone stock, except it's got like magnetflow mufflers, no exhaust. So literally when you drive it for long periods of time, the gas boils. How terrifying is it? It's pretty terrifying. It's terrifying. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Uh, so I did make some, some additional purchases, but uh, it has the Night Stalker front end, it looks like shit, and Night Stalker hood looks like shit. I'm looking for a Cobra front bumper and hood. Uh, but Alora's car just got a cam put in it. Um, Chris with the Audi R8 was just slightly faster than me at the autocross and I couldn't have that. So what do you do? Boom, you get a Kenny Bell twin screw supercharger. Wait, slightly faster? Slightly faster. We're gonna... Uh, His car was actually six seconds faster. No, it was .4 seconds faster. I went a 30... With him driving, he went a 34.3. No, no, no. three. you in it? We're not talking about... We're talking about the competition. He went Apple, a 34.3. We're talking three. about apples to oranges, right? He went a 34.3, and I went a 34.6. Now, when I drove it, I went faster because I'm like this guy right here. I don't know why he always... Dude, unreal. Did you see that? Was that in frame or no? Yes. Oh, wow. Crazy. All right. Um... Kenny Bell Supercharger. If you guys have ever been on YouTube before, if you guys have ever heard of the internet, you've probably watched the snake bite video. I know you have. Yes, the black O3 oh, Cobra yeah. where it's like, Woo! Yeah, yeah, literally, all through there. everyone knows that video and everyone knows the O3, O4 Cobra with a Kenny Bell Supercharger on it back in the day, it just was the shit. That's like your era. You probably had hair back then. I did. And what was it like it was, back then? It, I, it was, I, I, didn't, I couldn't afford one. I could only just watch them on YouTube, I guess. And, the internet, my which was all, on dial My up, man's you know, all about affordability. Dude, he is yeah. all about affordability. Seven race cars right here, but I couldn't afford it. Th Anyways, th times are tight. I wanted a real Cobra. I don't have real Cobra money, right? That's real. <laughs> no, you don't. Someone, so hey. insert. Never mind. Insert. Yeah. Uh, I don't have real Cobra money. Some dude had one post up a blue one, low miles, badass stock blower for forty five thousand. Forty five. That's insane, is it not? Yeah, yeah. But I get it, if you're a Cobra guy, do, do your thing. No hate, I'm just saying I can't afford that. So, my little $3,000 unit out there is like the Dollar General Cobra because it came naturally aspirated. It's not the same four valve as the other one. I hear they have glass rods. Um, they actually made the glasses, the glass rods on uh, that Blown Away show. Mm -hmm. Season one, they made connecting rods for uh, oh, 97 Cobra and we're gonna put them to a test. So uh, I called up Kenny Bell and I'm like, hey guys, give me a blower that sounds just like the snake bite video. And they're like, were you with me when I called them? Were you with me when I called them? You were with me, weren't you? And they're like, sorry, I don't wanna uh, tell you that's not really how they sound because that thing was like pulled all to hell. They were over spinning it and that was the old style rotors. They what don't was sound your like next that. What was your answer to that? I was like, that's what I want. Yeah, that's really, <laughs> I, I'm not looking really for performance at all, just for sound at this point. I don't um, care if it kicks the rods out. Exactly. That's what I want. Because we'll put other rods that are not made of glass in there. So um, I went ahead and I was like, you know what, just give me it. And then I said, listen, I don't want any tuning. Give me the smallest pulley that you could fit on that thing. I said, give me the smallest pulley. I, I can't believe you waited for me. I almost opened it, and I was like, no. How excited Downstairs. are you for this? I'm going to see it. Dude, look, it came with the instructions. I bet it looks so cute. Dude, these things came off the printer in 97. They've been in this. They've been, been, the they've been in this. Oh, I cannot like, wait. They smell like mothballs. Yes. I cannot <laughs> yeah. wait to put this sticker on the car. Literally, just the sticker was also made in 97. No, no, no. I like these stickers better. First, companies should take notes. Companies now That's that have like, the big say stickers. I want to say something. Listen, say something. I want to thank Chris and this Chris here for you know, bringing y'all to the Ford side to get this excited about a Ford. 
I mean, literally, 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 they're literally it. it's literally that slow out the box <laughs> that we need this. Just to, that might be true, dude. But look how excited y'all like, We've been getting gas. Like at Christmas. Yeah, we put a blower on it. Just so to keep up with an LS1. Stock LS1. Stock LS1 out my life. Hold on. That but you're still got, more excited about it. It's more. It's that thing's fun. got a gear in it. Yeah. It's got axles in it. It's got a second transmission out, and an outrun. Okay. And it made it around a road course without falling apart. That's him. <laughs> also, suspension engineering, you guys suck. <laughs> yeah. You have the shittiest. Whoever makes your bushing, stop. All right, so let's, let's pull this thing off. This is a 2.1 liter. Oh, I can feel it right here. No, that's going to get a knife. Dude, what kind of foam? Hold on. We're cooking. Oh. Oh, billet? Kenneth? We got billet? This is the Kenneth Bell. <laughs> the Cobra is now named Kenneth. Holy oh, shit. Man. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> Dude, they're still parts. All right, hold on. First, first thing we have to do is just compare the the, the the pulley that they recommend to the pulley that we got. Here, hold this on in. Wow, this thing is. Okay, it's a little small. Oh, that's kind of. Dude, I can totally, I can totally get Kevin to make me a smaller one. I don't think he needs. <laughs> what does overdrive the crank? It comes with its own balancer, I guess. Look at that billet shit. So does this just go right onto the factory intake? Like you take the top off? Uh, no, there's bolts to the heads. This is the intake. Oh, this is the thing they said worth 40 extra horsepower. Hell yeah. So the ports on the heads are vertical? Uh-huh. Wow, Ford is really on some dumb shit. Wow. Really on some dumb shit. Wow. Buddy, I don't think this came with any balancing. I think it's right here. Well, there's still plenty of parts left there. Is that small? Or did you get them off power? Dude, this is bullshit. Oh, this that's is bullshit. Some bullshit. Yeah. I want, a di I want a dinner plate as my lower. This is some serious bullshit. That's an underdrive. I said we'd leave a stock balancer on. I wonder how much boost it would make. Well, I think you're going to have to put that on there for clearance for the bullies, right? No, it runs a factory accessory drive. Yes, yeah. So the way blowers work is you can spin the blower faster with a smaller upper pulley or a larger lower pulley. This is very, very tiny for a lower pulley. I'm going to have to call them back and see. What bolts on the front of the, uh, the AC shit? They have an AC pulley that, like the factory has an AC pulley Maybe. that bolts on the front? Know. I never really looked. You actually can't see anything on that car, so you just, uh-huh. Yeah, uh, and last night at 11.45, I went on AmericanMuscle.com, and I ordered up a set of uh, ceramic-coated titanium headers, or like headers that are titanium ceramic-coated, and then I ordered up, I ripped the exhaust off of it, so the gas boils, so I ordered some chromed exhaust from the muffler back. And then we Where should be good. American Muscle. Okay. I was making sure it was an Amazon special because no, no, it was straight up. It's a full-time job trying to keep it with the trucks with the exhaust. Yeah, no, no, it's it's this is straight up American Muscle. This is like, you know, eleven hundred dollars of just badassness. All right, so this install to me uh, looks pretty nice. They quoted me. What did they quote me at Fastlane? Like twelve thousand. Uh, and right now I'm in. Uh, uh, 5600 so free. so half oh it is actually free i've been selling everything here is this um what is this oh my god this is the booster pump oh my god booster pump we're not using this because no. we're just going to put uh different size injectors and a different fuel pump in it and we're gonna have caleb from f and rowdy um tune it so it's gonna have an e85 tune we're gonna make 500 to the ground on e and not blow it up just make whatever low timing on 93. I think I should have meth injection on there and turn it on when I'm on 93. Yes. Do we agree? Yeah. And NASA Speed and Performance, right, has this shit in house. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Snow Performance Methanol Kit in house. NASA Speed and Performance. You guys can get the membership pricing. Uh, phone number right here. Or you can send an email to lsnastylc at gmail.com if you're interested in joining the membership. But we got just killer deals. Mason, how awesome is that? Just hold that thing up and put it on your lap. I really wish I went for the chrome one right now. I thought you did. No, I couldn't. I couldn't splurge the extra five hundred. Couldn't splurge the extra five hundred. So, is the throttle body in the exact same location? Yeah, I believe so. Tell Josie we need a sponsorship on polish and this. Yeah, that would look. Uh, it's actually Big Joe. It's Big Joe. Uh, okay. Um. Dude, we have to add oil to this thing. They don't ship it with oil in it. We need to sit on something. 
Oh, wow, that spins nice. The thing's got a, a lot of rotational mass. So little. I cannot believe how small this, this underdrive pulley is. Yeah, we can't use that. We're, we're leaving a stock balancer. I'm going to call them and ask them if they make a slightly larger balancer. The, the stock pulley with this balancer makes six pounds, which is a joke. Comical. We like need barely enough to overcome the actual like blower. Yeah, like, the, the parasitic loss. Yeah. We need to make at least like minimum, I'm thinking like 15. I don't know if that thing's got it. I'm not gonna lie to you. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just, not that I don't want it to, because I do, but I just don't know if this guy has the nuts. Yeah. Honestly, if, if we just go for the sound, I'm good with it. I mean, maybe it might take the. I, I don't know. To, to get the sound, we were told, man, them guys gotta spin the hell out of them. So. Wow. If it just makes heat, we'll just put meth injection on it. So E85 with well, meth injection. Well, honestly, even if it doesn't make any power, but it makes like 15 pounds and it's beating the shit out of the blower and it sounds cool. I'm good with it. Just time, no timing in it. Yeah. Seriously. So it has no nuts. Yeah, but it's just like, I want to be sitting here and it just like, when I go by everyone at home, close their eyes, close their eyes, I'm be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> rods. Oh, I, thought was, <laughs> I thought you were banging gears on the transmission again. No, no. No, we have two T45s now, so when we do tear them up, we have something else to at least drive home. But all right, so this is this is useless. I could have saved money and said, hey, keep the booster pump. But I mean, I guess we'll keep this because this booster pump doesn't know whatever it goes on. Right. It just it just makes more. Correct. Um, Might need it on that or something. Yeah, put a boost pump on this. What do you think, CJ? Yeah, it's going to need it. All right, uh, let's go wrap it up. I'm excited about this. Uh, guys, if you guys own a Kenny Bell at home on your 97 uh, or 96, 98 Cobra, let me know. I'd be, definitely be interested to talk about it with you and ask ask about this. This is a freaking bummer. That's a dude. joke. That is a, I've never, honestly, I've never held a balancer this small. It's like a 25% under. It, it looks like it belongs on a 400EX. <laughs> it's, it's insane. So, all right. Um, Shout out to Kenny Bell for getting this to me quick. I mean, dude, I ordered it when last, last like Wednesday, Something like that. and it's here the following Monday from California. So Pretty shout out to Kenny Bell. And then look at all this vacuum. I've <laughs> had it on the shelf since 2002. Like, what is this shit? Oh my god, it comes with a low parts auto cable. Keep that boost alive, hold on, Let me dive in here. There's some good shit in here. There's some stuff we could talk about in here. What is this? Supercharger oil? Oh my god, it is Kenny Bell Supercharger Oil by Lucas. Dude, Hell keep yeah. that boost alive. Formulated for Kenny Bell Twin Screw Superchargers. You can't say twin screw and it not be screaming. Oh, look at the belt. Oh shit. Are we gonna get a green belt? Hey, <laughs> use thread seal. Dude, unreal. Look at this. That's our blower belt. Literally, that's my LSA setup for our shop trucks 12 rib. <laughs> it's two, it's literally two of those. That's insane. It's a shame I have to go to Georgia tomorrow because we could literally put this on tomorrow. I don't know. All right. Looks like we're not doing it tomorrow. When are we doing this? When are we putting this on the schedule? We could skip racing Saturday. Uh, if it rains. If it rains. Damn, is this the balancer bolt? See, that, that is. Or that's for the holy. No, that's for the balancer. That's truly wild. Ford right. stuff is just so janky. Dude, uh, shout out to GM for coming a long way from 97. Chevy? No, yeah, GM. Like, if, if GM had some shit like this, the LS1 absolutely kicked the shit out of all of this. Do you agree? I mean, you're a Ford guy. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's sad to be a Ford guy sometimes. It is. 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, all sad years. And then the Terminator. Then the Terminator. Out. And then you guys really stepped it up from there. So, all right. Um, if you guys are looking smoke, it's got to be period correct. I, I, I do want to do some racing. I, I do want to throw it back to, like, you know, the early 2000s with that. Just, like, period correct. Like, if you got an F-body stick shift that's got, like, motor in it, no gas, no blower, no turbos, like, keep that shit period correct. If you got anything with a booster pump on it, you got smoke. All right, I'm out of here.